Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm gonna get straight to the video today because I have got so much to update you in. If I keep this video under 10 minutes, please leave a comment congratulating me because I don't think it's happening. So this week I had quite a bit of a wobbly, but the main reason for the wobbly was that I had this massive realization that I felt I was doing the wrong thing by going all the way down to Spain on this trip. There's ways that you guys are directly contributing towards the tour financially. And because the tour had just begun, I felt quite an overwhelming um, amount of responsibility to do justice to the generosity of, of you guys. And I had this huge realization that going down to Spain and spending six weeks to two months of the six month tour writing the album, I realized that that was probably not the smartest move to do, to maximize seeing musicians, to maximize the creativity of this album. And ultimately, working with as many musicians as possible on this tour is the goal of the project. I worked out it was gonna cost me between 1,800 pound and 2,000 pound to do. And when you guys are finding ways to donate money into this project, which I'll talk about soon, I feel a huge responsibility to make sure that that money is spent sensibly and smart. This is Joe, this is the singer I was talking about last week. He's back again. But I'm not really singing much, I'm just playing the guitar more. You're, oh yeah, it's guitar yeah. day these days, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, looking forward to it. Alright mate, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe and uh, yeah, that's it. Peace. So today is pancake day. Of oh, And we have Sally here. Showing her skills. Sally, thank you so much for making these pancakes. Look at them. Absolute joy. But who's having the first pancake then, lads? Yeah, who is? No. Oh. <laughs> That's the really This is the biggest uh, session we've had. Thank you your pancake. Lewis sadly had to go home. And this was the first time on the tour that we really felt community. Thank you very much for having me for the past Mate. three days, is it? Yeah. Yeah. You've been a brilliant it's been an absolute host. pleasure. I'll see you in a few months, somewhere in sunny Europe. Hey! <laughs> Slowly into the night, people started jetting off, and it was really sad. But we were left with Isaac, his girlfriend Alicia, and Andy, aka Pickle Jam, and we could not resist a bit of a Pickle Jam session. <laughs> End of the time in Leeds. Sally, so much for sorting those pancakes out last night. I know everybody appreciated you. Everybody that joined me in Leeds, thank you so much. It's been so fun. We're now off to Manchester today. So I think this is a good time to show you guys the bank account. When I, when I started this project, uh, one promise I made was that I wanted to share with you exactly what the bank account is saying for the project. So currently we have, ah, it's gone up, £252.78. Five more t-shirt sales since I checked the account last. So you guys, are you guys really are keeping me on the road. So to explain how far that £252 is actually gonna get us. So one tank of fuel costs about £120 and that will get me about 450 miles. This week I dropped down to £53 and going off the maths, I could only just about make it down to Brighton. I have a ferry booked to leave Brighton at the beginning of April and until I just checked just then, I didn't know if I would even be able to make it into Europe. That's how serious the money is getting. Another way of looking at that is that six t-shirt sales is essentially a full tank of fuel. So those five t-shirt sales, that's pretty much a tank of fuel. 252 pounds is gonna get me the equivalent of 900 miles, roughly. I need to obviously eat and survive and um, any other things that need paying towards the project. But if we're lucky and it's just on fuel, that will probably get us as far as like Amsterdam. So we've probably got four weeks left on this project with the current money that we've got in the bank. What I really need to do is sell the car. I've had a bit more interest on the car this week. If we sell that and I pay the debt off on the car, then in theory, I can put like half of the traveling just straight into the pot, still waiting on that sale. That's gonna make such a difference. But it means that right now, there's a good chance that when we get into Europe, that it's done. Like it stops there and I can't move. All right, fella. Oh my God, that's fancy. How are you doing? 
It's bigger than I thought it was. It's a big old boost. Good day, gang. Look who I'm with today. That's Ollie me. Tandon. <laughs> Ollie is a, a great drummer, and one of the most common questions I get is how do you record drums in here? Well, we've had like little jazz setups in here, but other than that, we've not managed to record many drums. Mainly because we've not needed them, because I do production on them. But Ollie has uh, a storage unit that he practices in. Two seconds on the, that one, yeah? And then you're good. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, it's making the camera go crazy with all the lights. Oh, yeah, we shot the podcast on it last time, didn't we? Oh, we did. Yeah. I completely forgot about that yeah. when the podcast days were off. I want to get that podcast going again, you know? I miss your car doing the podcasts. So this is, this is Ollie's genius idea for living in the centre of Manchester and then still having um, a place to practice at an affordable rate. We thought we'd use it today. Get some recording done. We're now back in the bus, writing some vibes, big vibes, ready for a writing session tonight with a girl called Amber. Ollie's killing it with the arrangement. I don't know. What do you reckon? What do you think? Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Big beats. Hey. Yeah, that. What is it? <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. I'm just nervous to go first, so you go first. Just get... What do you think we've hidden something in there? <laughs> no, because I'm just so like a Yeah, that'd be stupid, stupid if we hid something in there. Time standing still, freezing a frame. You're looking at me. I just want to take. I wanna taste Feeling is a meaning In my right Don't know what to do I didn't stay in the most glamorous of places yesterday but it certainly did the job for the session. Uh, crikey, leave a comment as to what you thought, one, of Amber's voice, and two, I'm really interested to know in that style of music, uh, how many of you guys like that style of music? So leave a comment about that, um, because I'm interested. We've got quite a few different genres now. Um, also, I'm full of cold, I'm so sorry. Off to Liverpool now. Which leads me on to a story that I want to share with you this week about Beth Robinson. Quite a name in this project. She's been sending in loads of videos of her singing. She's been really active and involved on the Instagram. She's even been like private messaging me just to check, see how things are going, see where, where we're at, if there's anything she can do to help. And she got in touch this week and I still can't believe she's done this. Um, she offered a full tank of fuel towards the project. I was blown over by it. Like I, I didn't really want to accept it, but I did because that's what this community is about. It's about getting this album done together. And Beth, I'm just so grateful that you found another way to keep us on the road. I'm actually seeing Beth this coming week um, to do the writing session. So I'm gonna cook her a meal. You can have some nice vibes and make some nice music. Yeah, there's nothing else I can say. But thank you so much, Beth. So all of these options are great for raising the money, but I've been trying to think of ways that we can maybe save money as well. So I think it was a couple of videos I mentioned about this Hogwarts looking castle. I've mentioned it a couple of times on Instagram as well. Now I booked a ferry to go to St. Marlow, which is the closest ferry port to Mont Saint Michel. That's the British pronunciation of that place. Sorry for any French people watching. I'm actually gonna give up that trip. I could actually get a refund of £120, a tank of fuel, if I was to reschedule it to Le Havre, I think it's called. And it's actually near Normandy as well, which is just as inspiring. But making that decision saves us £120. I'm trying to think of ways to save money. I haven't really got anything else I can sell other than my soul. Um, but that's not a smart idea at this stage. <laughs> right, we're in. Let me introduce you to the vlog. <laughs> I was just trying to think actually when we met and how we met. Um... Well, I was a fan of you before you knew me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen you on Instagram and I was like, this guy's sick. Oh, was it the gram? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I seen you on the gram and then I think I messaged you because I wanted you to join a project. But I didn't. No, I, I, did I message you or I didn't? I can't I remember. Know. Maybe I did in my head. But, <laughs> but I didn't. Different in reality. And then, so I just knew about you and then obviously I seen Marley in the circuit mm. and then he was obviously working with her. Mm -hmm. And then, push comes to shelf, I see you at Band on the Wall. And I'm like, yeah. hello, mate. And yeah. it was like we knew each other like, yeah, for years. Yeah, straight away. So yeah, it was sick. It's been a long while, so we no, were. No, it wasn't long ago. 
No, that was like just before Christmas, I think. Yeah, like yeah, November, yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've been. Um, well, we were just going to meet up to like lay a beat down, mm. and then it's progressed <laughs> to having a full song. Mm. I was meant to be going to Liverpool, as I told you guys earlier tonight. I'm now staying in Manchester another night. Did you turn? You're going off to play basketball <laughs> and then coming back. Be back. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to go to Liverpool either really late tonight or early tomorrow. I'm thinking late tonight. I like a late night drive. Enjoy your basketball. Cheers, my brother. And yeah, I'll man. Catch you to finish I'm, I'm excited to come back and, and, and hear this. Let's give them a preview. Here's a clip. <laughs> It's a shame that I love you A bed of doubts Can I trust you? I wanna love you I need you I can't, but I won't this way no more So I've spent all morning completely redoing the schedule which now means we're heading up towards Copenhagen and North Mainland Europe I need you guys to keep an eye out on Brexit and anything that I might miss because I don't want to get into trouble. However, don't worry, the three of you that I was meant to be seeing in south of Europe, we're going to organise flights to get them to the north of Europe, which what I'm actually hoping will mean is that we can have more people in the sessions. One thing I've really loved so far is where we've had sessions with like five people and we've all like learned off each other in different ways. It's felt like a proper community thing. We've had like really good, meaningful talks. We've gone out, enjoyed the nature together. And if we can do this in Europe and connect people from quite literally the other ends of Europe together into writing sessions, like how incredible would that be? That's what the project is all about. On your screen right now, you are seeing the new drawn out route. On the right hand side of the screen, you can also see the dates of where I'm going to be traveling to and, and within what times. So I hope that kind of makes sense. Any questions, don't hesitate to send me a DM on Instagram at George Jasmine Holiday with two L's. Also, a big reason why I wanted to stay kind of North Europe is that flights to those areas are really cheap at the minute. I was looking at flights this morning and to Amsterdam from either Manchester or London, all flights were under £50. So if you're looking at these cities and thinking about maybe joining, pop me a message because I know so many tips and tricks to find super, super cheap flights and I'm more than happy to help out with that. So please do message. Hey guys, update. I am kind of near Liverpool and look who I have with me. Donna Marie. This is this is Nora Jones. <laughs> Donna actually has an album coming out really, really soon. So I'm gonna put a link below to her Facebook page so you guys can go scout. Can you hear previews online yet? Uh, yeah, you've just gotta find me on Instagram and all the socials. In the rise, that's where I wanna be. Living the night, nine to five, is where I wanna be. And that's Donna, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Another great writing session. And now off to Bristol. It's just gone five o'clock, I think, like quarter past five. So I might be in Bristol for like 10, 11 o'clock tonight, something along those lines. It looks like it'd be a nice sunset. And in my soul, this is a life I was looking for. And that's all right with me. Here tonight, in the lights, is where I need to be. Here in the rise. Crikey me, so much news this week. Right, let's get something a little less heavy. I just wanted to give a moment to those of you that commented on last week's video. There was some really great feedback and some really excited people. Rebecca Lindley said, sounds great, George. Lewis's voice is insane. Yes, yes it is. Ilko Newman, um, awesome. Can't wait to hear the finished song at 6.31. It sounds kind of like Wolfpack. I love Wolfpack. That's a big compliment. Thank you. Grace Pashley, who I'm seeing in Brighton next week. I think it's next week or the week after. These songs are beaut and Lewis is actually amazed. They were all, they were all amazing. Stephen Reed, this project just got real. Really bloody good. Already so excited to follow your progress. Keep up the good work, George. Stephen, thank you so much. That means a lot, buddy. Oreo, amazing. I'm very happy to have found your channel. Come from Brazil and love music. Congratulations on your project and you and one day you can come and do it here. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine if this project next year is writing an album in Brazil? My days. Thank you to everybody else that left a comment as well. If you leave a comment early on this video, maybe you'll get a shout out next week. Right guys, that's it. That's the end of this week's update. I just really quickly wanted to mention 
this good old goodie bag. So we've got five of these and we're gonna fill them with your creativity, whether that's CDs, whether you make things out of wood, maybe you knit scarves, maybe you make pencil cases. We're gonna auction off all five of these at the end of this project. If you're interested in putting stuff in this bag, either bring some stuff on the road to me or email me at team at madeontheroad.co.uk and I will give you the address where you can send stuff. Ultimately, what I want to do with these is give you guys a bit of a platform to put out your stuff. I'm very excited about this. Uh, that's it. Until next week. Oh dear. Until next week, look after each other, stay safe, and remember, never stop creating. Here's what's coming up next week. Finger on the trigger of my hand